right, day five. Almost made it a week. Um, last night, had a rough night. The stupid cough still isn't going away. So, called the doctor this morning, getting an antibiotic on board. Hopefully I'll feel better. Feeling good today, actually. Like, once I got up and moving, feel a lot better than I did laying down. Um, today, I'm walking Turkey Creek. Turkey Creek is, or has been, um, in Brevard County for a long, long time. Um, when I was little, my parents used to bring us out here and we used to walk it. Um, it's a nice little boardwalk and a little sanctuary. Um, beautiful little place. Generally overhung with trees, you can kind of see. Um, and just nice scenery. Sometimes you see wildlife, sometimes you don't. Um, on occasion, you might see some manatees or something of that nature. Um, it's got me a little bit scared though because these boards have been creaking all along the way and I'd hate to fall through. Oh, there's like this nice little open area. You can kind of see. Wonder why it's all open. Oh well. Um, so day five. Don't know how far I'm gonna walk today because I'm just gonna walk here at Turkey Creek, kind of take it easy, let my body heal itself. Um, I did take the advice of one of the gentlemen that was at my meeting yesterday, uh, John Chibian, uh, on how to reduce friction in your shoes. And he suggested I put on like a, almost like a pantyhose liner underneath my socks. And so what I did is I took a pair of, um, like I have those really thin socks that you would put inside of a no-show shoe. Um, and so I put those on first and then I put my hiking socks on over it and it is working wonderfully. So thank you, John, for that. Hope we got a few squirrels jumping around here. Um. about this tree behind me. This tree has been here for as long as I can remember. Um, whenever I was younger and we walked through, I definitely remember it being one of the bigger trees. And it's kind of sad, the state that it's in now. Looks like it's just dying, kind of decaying. But for as long as I can remember, it's been here. It's kind of cool to walk through and still see things that uh, were here from your childhood. things about me that I thought that maybe you didn't know. Um, uh, I was originally, um, I went to a public school um, at, in kindergarten for second, third grade. And then my mom um, homeschooled us from third grade and, or homeschooled me and my brother, me from third grade until seventh grade and my brother from um, sixth grade until um, ninth grade. So um, we were at home with her for a while, which I'm very grateful for now. Looking back, there was lots of experiences that I would not have gotten to experience um, if I'd been in the public school system. And um, really, I would attribute those things um, that I learned at home to shaping who I am today. So for that, thank you, Mom, for um, teaching me those life skills and actually a love for um, nature. Um, came from those times. So I definitely remember standing here in this spot with my brother before um, and my mom. And my brother used to love to come out to these lookouts because you get really, really close to the water. Um, so like you can look down there, some turtles hiding down there. You might be able to see them, might not be able to see them. Um, but just kind of a cool little getaway. Um, it was definitely one of our pastimes that we probably did once a week. Um, we came out and walked Turkey Creek, went to the library, got some books for school, and it was just kind of our way of getting out of the house so that way we didn't drive each other crazy and we didn't drive my mom crazy. And um, 
yeah. Uh, so just a little piece of history about my life was homeschooled um, it's kind of funny because now I'm a public school teacher and I'm a huge advocate for public education however I do believe that some children need to learn through um, homeschooling there's not really another way for them to learn um, they learn best in their own environment they learn best being able to move and go to the kitchen table or go to the counter or go to the bathroom to read a book or to work on their reading work I mean that's just the way that people are um, actually I was reading an article yesterday about flexible seating in the classroom and it was something I tried to implement this past year but failed miserably at because <laughs> the kids didn't understand how to properly use the different seats and instead it became like they abused it and it became like a play thing I ended up taking it away at the end of the year but I'd like to try it again give kids options to sit where they'd like without having to um, just be stuck at their desk all day because none of us learn that way we don't learn just by sitting at our desk all day we learn by getting up and coming out different places you know this is one thing that always gets me why do people feel the need to etch things into nature actually this is kind of cool because what they've done to the bark they must have done when the tree was smaller and the tree has actually grown with it i'm going to try and show you the texture here let me try and video this the right direction so like i was saying you can tell the texture on this you can kind of get a, gl a glimpse of it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like indented. It's really cool, actually. However, it does kind of make me sad when people do this to trees. I know people have been doing it forever, but still. <laughs> how this area lets you see the fullness of the canopy so like if you look behind me you can see like the treetops um, and then I believe down lower the creek is still there so it, this kind of puts you above the creek at a little bit of a higher level um, it's really cool <music> today's walk was not necessarily miles it was just kind of taking it easy and strolling <laughs> enjoying the scenery so haven't even made it two miles yet I've been walking for about an hour but it's a boardwalk area and there's lots of stuff to look at and things to admire there's lots and lots of air plants in here so that's pretty cool check out the pictures that I post on this video too hopefully you can enjoy some of the beauty with me um i did get a library car today so you'll be happy to know that i do not think libraries are obsolete actually they had like the 2016 at trail guide book and i'm super excited to look at that i also got um i think it's called a walk in the woods um by bill bryson or something it's supposed to be a funny um humorous uh, take on walking the, H uh, the AT and um, I also got um, I think it's called going a wall on the Appalachian Trail um, I think a wall is one of the guys trail names um, and actually I have a feeling that he might even be um, maybe the founder of the Appalachian Trail Conservancy I'm not quite sure but either way there I go again with that word. <laughs> I'll catch myself and get better at this as time goes on. So day five in the books, feeling good, 
feet are doing well today. Very, very well. I actually feel better than they have any other day. So that's awesome. Um, I think I've figured out the magic formula. I need to wear some liners with my hiking socks in my shoes to keep the blisters from forming on my toes. So, um, for now, we're going to call it a day. I will definitely be posting another video probably tomorrow and then Sunday um, is going to be my rest day so there won't be anything on Sunday that I'm posting every seven days is going to be a rest day for sure so I will talk to you again soon and from Turkey Creek and Brevard County Florida this is Behold Adventure also known as Amelia out for the day.